Okay, <laughs> it's raining a little bit, but I'm gonna show how we transfer bleach from this huge barrel, which weighs like 530 pounds, I think, into the tank inside our soft wash trailer. So we use this um, Ryobi transfer pump. So you can see we have uh, a line coming out. This is the inlet here and the outlet there. Uh, this is just the hose that came with it. It's clear, which is cool. It's too short, so I have another little section of hose added onto it. And in a minute, I will take off the cap and we'll insert it into there. Um, this is one of our just rinse hoses. Um, so I've got the, it's got a quick connect. So this will go on here, right, and voila. Uh, it drips a teeny, teeny tiny bit right here. So we're not worried about that with the ground here. <clears throat> Follow this all the way up and into our trailer. And I've got it clamped off here just so it doesn't accidentally slide off. That would be horrible, pumping 12.5% sodium hypochlorite everywhere. And then it's gonna go in here. Um, this tank, as you can see, it's got, it's kind of high centered. So the last like 15 gallons don't, don't pump out. So there, it, there's about 15 gallons in there right now. And uh, we're gonna add another 53 to it. Okay, so let's get a couple more things set up. We're gonna get the cap off of here. It really doesn't matter which one you take off, but you need thong wrench. Just leave this on top with the wrench. So this hose is just gonna go straight down inside. all the way to the bottom. Once we siphon most of the SH out of here, I'll go ahead and, and take this thing out. But it's way too heavy to get out right now. In the past, I've, I've set up some ramps, but um, this thing's so heavy, I, it, I'm about to break those ramps. So we're just gonna do it like this for now. Okay, and now, and here is a battery. I hope it's got enough juice in it. I forgot to charge it. So we're going to get started. It's really loud. There we go. You see it going through. It's going to take a second to get through all of this, but we're going to be wise and I hear it. Go. You can see it coming out. So this takes um, this takes a while. Um, I love having this pump. It it's really helpful. I can stand away from it for quite a while, but it it probably takes ten to fifteen minutes or so, um, maybe more, to to pump out all fifty three gallons into this tank. So we're gonna let it do its thing and then uh, we'll check back in in a little bit. While that's going, just a note to say, you never wanna leave the vicinity when you're pumping all this bleach. Something could happen, um, you know, maybe for some reason it, the, the hose comes detached and it, there's a problem there. Um, in fact, how about this? Something like this could happen. Okay, well, good thing we checked. I'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna see if we can figure it out. Okay, let's figure out what's going on. Okay, so what I did, we'll see if this worked, is I just gave this right here a major crank and it, it moved quite a bit. So I think it's just gotten loose from all of our other usage on it. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and say that did not solve the problem. 
let's try something else. Okay, I basically just took it apart and looked at it. <laughs> Nothing really out of the ordinary. I don't know why, you know, this feeds straight into here and that this piece goes right through in into the inside of this hose. So I don't know. Anytime we use this on a house, it doesn't leak. So I'm not sure what the deal is about it being connected here, but let's try it again. That I can live with. We're pumping. Okay, as you can see, we got the drum out of the back of the truck. Um, it's all pumped out except for the last tiny bit. We'll dump that into another container. And I have disconnected um, the that hose from here. And what you gotta do is you leave it in the tank inside uh, because this is gonna still be full of bleach. So we, we disconnect it. We lift it up high and then we just go hand over hand. <laughs> it's hard to do with one hand. Um, hand over hand over hand. You, know, you obviously use two hands. Um, and what you're doing is you're just creating a gravity feed so that all the SH can move through the rest of the line. Just move it through, move it through. I already took it out of the tank. It would still be in the tank and you'd move it and just keep lifting, lifting up, lifting up until the last of it drains in there. Um, now I've got it on the ground. There's gonna be like a little residual um, bleach inside there. Um, so now we're gonna, uh, we want to rid the line of that bleach and we also wanna flush out this pump. So we're gonna take this out place it into some fresh water in this bucket. Well, this hose is so stiff. Okay. Gotta hold that down. Again, what not to do. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we've reconnected the hose. We've got this hose. I have to, I'm going to have to hold it down, but I'm going to turn on the pump and push that. Okay, now we're gonna dump out the rest of the bleach into a bucket. Oh, wow. Wow, we really got it all out. That's the best I've ever done. Huh. Okay, you. oftentimes when you're trying to do this, there's a little bit of residual bleach in there and here we go it, and we can't return the container with that in there plus we want to get our money's worth we can put that into a pump up sprayer um, or something like that um, for like gutter washing later or something like that so uh, we would do that but in this case it we really got it all so we're just going to put the the cap back on we'll store it in the barn until it's time to take it back to seattle and uh, put it away Okay, next thing we're gonna do is take off all the hoses, take the battery out and charge it. That just goes like this. Give that a yank, pull this out. You gotta squeeze the, there's one on each side. Squeeze this, pull it out. Um, that needs to get charged. And then we're, all, we're also gonna pull this off of, oh, I might need to get a tool to get that off, but we'll pull it off of the stand too.